fasting, meal spacing, calorie restriction, and exercise, all great for your body in so many different ways, but none of them really reach the source, the real foundation of your energy, your mitochondria. When they start to wear down, it doesn't matter how perfect your habits are, your body just can't keep up. Because every bit of energy you feel, every thought, every heartbeat, and every rep you push out in the gym runs on one thing, ATP. And your mitochondria are the factories that make it. But here's the problem. Your body can only produce so much of the raw materials needed to keep that system running. Magnesium, creatine, even COQ10, they all help power energy production, but there's a core amino acid your cells rely on to actually build and maintain the mitochondria themselves. And if that amino acid runs low, it doesn't matter how much magnesium, creatine, or olive oil you take, your mitochondria can't sustain long-term energy production. That amino acid is glycine. It's one of the simplest molecules in the body, but it sits at the very foundation of how you make and maintain energy. And today we'll look at how magnesium and glycine work together to not only restore energy, but rebuild it from the inside out. If you've caught my last video, we talked about how magnesium helps your cells produce energy, how it turns the metabolic switch back on. But flipping the switch isn't enough. You still have to rebuild what's behind it. That's where glycine comes in. One amino acid your ancestors got plenty of, but most people today are running low on. Everyone talks about glycine for collagen and sleep, but almost no one talks about how it rebuilds your mitochondria, the very engines that keep your body running. Without it, magnesium can flip the switch all day long, but there's nothing left to power if your mitochondria are dying. Fasting clears out the old broken mitochondria through autophagy. Magnesium activates AMPK, the master switch that tells your body, hey, time to make more energy again, but here's the problem. If your body doesn't have the new materials to build new mitochondria, nothing changes. That's where glycine comes in. Glycine activates PGC1A, basically the project manager that builds new mitochondria and repairs the damaged ones. So magnesium sends the signal, glycine builds that power plant, and when both are active, they amplify each other. A 2023 clinical trial proved this energy. Researchers gave older adults glycine with NAC and saw restored glutathione levels, reduced oxidated stress, and improved mitochondrial efficiency. Another 2022 study confirmed that glycine boosts mitochondrial respiration, meaning your cells actually produce ATP more efficiently. This is where it all connects because when your mitochondria can generate magnesium, it finally has the tools to work with. Now, here's the part that might surprise you. Your ancestors ate the whole animal, the skin connected tissue, broth, bones, all loaded with glycine. You, me, we eat chicken breast and steak, and that's the problem. Most meats are high in methionine, but low in glycine. That imbalance matters. It affects how well your body repairs, detoxifies, and balances metabolism. Your body burns through glycine constantly to build collagen, detoxify, balance neurotransmitters in the brain, and repair the broken mitochondria. As you age or go through stress, you just don't make enough to keep up. Low glycine means slower recovery, more oxidative stress, and weaker mitochondria. But when you restore it, even a few grams a day, things start changing very fast. A 2023 study in older mice showed glycine improved muscle strength, insulin sensitivity, and mitochondrial function without changing diet or exercise. And this ties directly into how you feel day in and day out deeper sleep, steadier focus, and few afternoon crashes. Because glycine doesn't just rebuild energy, it helps you rest more efficiently. It lowers nighttime cortisol, it improves deep sleep, and helps your liver clear out waste. That's why biohackers take it before bed. And when you wake up, you actually feel restored, not just rested. So let's talk about how to use these together. In the morning, take magnesium first either glycinate or malate, because these absorb easier and support metabolism without digestive issues. Take it with your first meal, high in protein, low in carbs, and rich in healthy fats like olive oil. This gives your body the signal to start producing energy and repairing cells. In the evening, take glycine before bed, around two to three grams is plenty. No need to go overboard. Start low and then work your way up as needed. You can use glycine powder, capsules, or even collagen, since it's about one third glycine in composition. This helps rebuild mitochondria while you sleep and improve the quality of your sleep. If you want to keep this up, you can take it one step further. Pair your evening glycine with a small dose of magnesium glycinate, which is literally magnesium and glycine combined anyways. 
This enhances the absorption and speeds up enzyme production. Now, you're not gonna rebuild your mitochondria overnight, but it's faster than you might think. Most people notice better sleep within the first week. By week two, that wired and tired feeling starts to fade. And around weeks three and four, you start feeling more endurance mentally and physically. That's when mitochondrial energy starts to catch up. You don't need massive dosages either. Glycine works cumulatively, slowly restoring the foundation of metabolism relies on. And if you're thinking, can't I just get this from food? I mean, yeah, you can. Bone broth, collagen peptides, gelatin, organ meats, all loaded with it. But with the cost of food these days, supplementation is a simple and affordable option. Two to three grams, you're done. Here's the truth most people miss. Caffeine, pre-workouts, and tropics, they push your body to create more output. But if your mitochondria are underbuilt and underfueled, you're just running on empty. Fasting clears the old, magnesium flips the switch, glycine rebuilds what's left and needed. That's how you create sustainable energy without frying your nervous system. And you don't need to overhaul everything. Just move daily. Even light walking keeps AMPK active. Fast or eat in windows that give your body time to rest. Keep magnesium levels healthy and get enough glycine. Over time, you'll notice you're not just getting through the day. You're generating energy again. That's the difference between boosting and rebuilding. And once you feel that difference, you'll never go back. Quick note before we go on. If you have kidney issues, are pregnant, or are taking medication, check with your doctor first. Both are natural supplements and ingredients when it comes to magnesium and glycine, but they still influence how your metabolic system works. And if you have any underlying conditions, you want to check with your doctor first. In the next video, we'll go deeper, how to protect those mitochondria from future damage so they stay young, efficient, and abundant longer. If this helped, hit the like button, drop a comment. This is Dave. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.